Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nerf Strongar Strongarm. As the name suggests, um, right here. The name is the Strongarm, and it's a com it's almost a cop it's supposed to be a copy of the Maverick. Now let me just grab my Maverick over here. Actually, I have a couple of them, but this is my most recent one, so it'll fire much better. But yeah, here is a comparison. I'll show you what is the big difference since they really do look alike. So first off is the handle. The handle is obviously different. Since the Maverick was one of the first Nerf Blasters, if not the first, um... It didn't have a different handle because Nerf didn't know much about how to do handles then. Because it was one of their first. What's the big deal? So now that it's Elite, they have a better handle and it looks much cooler, I have to admit. And it's much more comfortable. And also, the grip is a little different. On here has a grip. And I'll get on to the next one right after I'm done talking about this part. Um... It's, it's a little more comfortable because it has this little comfort zigzag on it, while this one just has a tactical rail. Now onto where the tactical rail is. Don't mind about that. That's just my headset. Um. So for the strong arm, they knew that there was a problem to put the tactical rail on here. So. What Nerf did is they just moved the tactical rail. It's like the same length. It's a little bit shorter, but still you can still fit your Nerf. So you can fill fit it, your accessories on there. And also, I've never seen this with any other Nerf blaster, but it has three sights. One, two, three. Oh, you guys don't see that. Three. So that's another cool thing that I like about it. Also, it comes with six elite darts, as always. And also, look at this. It says all the way out, just like the Spectre. And for this one, it only extends out to here. I filled this with elite darts, too. I have two other ones. One's filled with Busby's. And then the other is filled with half, um, half, half suction, half dart tag. So I just lowered it. And you can't fit old streamlines in there because the little thing is, um, the little rod is out a little further. Also, the appearance is a little different because look at the fronts. It's a little different on here than here, which I really like. I love everything about this. One of the downsides is that if you take this out and then roll it, this might just be mine, but then it might sometimes not be at the, it might be like in between two, which when it shoots, misfires and so and when I modded the darts for these which I took out the mods didn't really glue them in um basically uh hold on I just had a thought <laughs> um basically make makes it so it misfires so it goes about a fifth of the range but the power on this is really strong like I didn't even mean to shoot my friend with it, and I accidentally shot him in, like, the chest, and it, it, like, stung for him. But with this one, it doesn't really sting. It's like, eh, I just got hit. Not a big deal. Also, the cocking is a little cool. See this little bar that's bl completely black? And when you cock it, hold on, I need to get a good grip on it. Then it's orange. As you can see there. So yeah. Also there's two sling adapters. I'll let it focus. There we go. See? One there. One there. 
So you can or sling or bandolier. I actually think that this is one of the first in the U.S. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't heard that it was released in the U.S. But yesterday I got it, and I just found it just in Target. Yeah, I go to Target. There's not a Toys R Us nearby. Um, it was there, just sitting there, and no one touched it or got it. It was really strange. I don't know why, but yeah, it's really cool. Also, if you look at the cylinder for both of them, hold on, let me just make it so it's an accurate comparison. You can obviously see that the cylinder is smaller. That's because they put the air restrictors or con or constrictors. I say either one is really. Hold on, let me just get the good angle. Uh, here, it's in the plunger mechanism. While for the Maverick, it's not there. You only have. You don't have much over here. You can't really see much, too. But, yeah. Also, this gets less jams. I haven't really found myself good jams with this. And also, this has slam fire, which is very interesting. It also has kind of a cowboy thing, so also you can decock it if you just press hold down the trigger and you can not pull the trigger but when nerf socom reviewed it um they said that you can't decock it um which that's not true let me show you i'm gonna cock it and when you hold it out pull the trigger and then make sure they have the strength to not do that so yeah. Also, if you're holding on the trigger and when you pull this back, um, unlike the other slam fire, you would have to pull it back then pull it forward. But this is like a cowboy revolver. You just have to hold down the trigger and when you cock it back, it shoots. Jeez, that was really loud. I don't know. Uh, I used I have like, and yeah. It's, So, what do I recommend this Nerf gun? Yes, I do. Out of any Nerf gun out there, I recommend this. Um, this is my second favorite. First is the Rampage, then this, and then the the Rough Cut. So yeah. Also, you can just do this. Oh. So yeah, this has been THKFBI with the Nerf, with the Nerf Strong Arm. Um, I recommend it. The pros outgo the cons. The cons is like uh, sometimes it'll misfire. That is rarely. I hardly see it misfiring, and that's about the only con. So yeah, this has been THKVI with the strong arm again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to THKVI if you want to see more gaming, nerf reviews, and tutorials. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, I'll be coming out with a new tutorial soon of how to mod your nerf, um, nerf darts. See you soon.